Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 10, The Real Number System, Part 3. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Representing real numbers on a graph. Sets and subsets of real numbers can be represented in a variety of ways. Number lines, set ball notation, and interval notation. Take note, number lines set ball notation and interval notation so let's look at set ball notation and number lines so set ball notation is, is a useful way of representing sets and subsets of real numbers when a set is represented in a set ball notation first describe the set in words before representing it on a number line set ball notation consists of three parts namely the variable x look at the arrow then the restriction or the boundaries you must say x lies between for instance negative 4 and 3 and then of course you must also explain the number system which is in this case x an element of z z means integers let's look at example 6 there integers greater than and including 3 so the variable is x the restriction is x greater than 3, and of course, x is an element of the integers. So if you look at the graph next to it, you can see 3, 4, 5, and of course, uh, the arrow means it goes to infinity. So 3 is the smallest, and then all the integers to the right. Right. Take note, it's integers, so therefore, no fractions. If you look at B, integers less than 5, so there you see you have, you, you exclude 5 because there's no equal sign. Where in A, you, had to, you could include 3 with a dot because it was greater or equal to 3. But the moment you leave out a number, you must exclude it. So it is 4, 3, 5. It's less than, so you move to the left to infinity. Again, take note no fraction look at c natural numbers less than four now remember what are natural numbers there's again no fractions so x less than four no equal sign so i must leave out the four and i only show three two and one why not zero because zero is not a natural number so it's only one two and three if you look at d it is between negative and three excluding negative 2 but including 3 so therefore you include 3 but you exclude negative 2 so therefore you only show negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 because remember they are integers no fractions whatsoever let's look at e F and G, and all three of them deals with real numbers, so therefore you'll notice they are different from the previous. Here we have continuous lines, because we're dealing with real numbers, that means we include fractions. So if X is greater or equal to 3, you have a dark dot, because you include 3, and then a continuous line to the right with an arrow, meaning infinity. Look at F, less than 7, but there's no equal sign, so an open circle for 7, and then a continuous line to the left, to infinity. Look at G, between negative 5 and 4, but you must exclude negative 5, so therefore an open circle, you must include 4, so a dot. So therefore, X lies between negative 5 and 4. Let's look now at interval notation and number lines. Interval notation is another way of representing real numbers on a number line. Interval notation may not be used to represent any subset of real numbers, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Right, so look at A, real numbers between negative 5 and 4. So you must exclude negative 2 and include 4. So therefore, if you look at negative 2, it's a round bracket. That means you exclude. And on the side of 4, a square bracket. That means you include. And therefore, 
if you look at the drawing, negative 2 an open circle and 4 a dark dot. And of course, the continuous line is between the two. If you look at B, real numbers between minus 4 and 7, you must include negative 4 and exclude 7. So if you look at the, the set building, the, the notation, a square bracket on the side of negative 4 and a round bracket on the side of 7. So therefore, a dark dot by negative 4 and an open circle by 7. C, real numbers greater than or, in, or including 1. So you include 1 to so a square bracket, but greater than means to infinity. So we have an infinity sign, but a round bracket because infinity, they got no end. So I hope that makes sense. If you look at D, real numbers less than but not including negative 1. So you have a round bracket on the side of negative 1, but negative infinity also a round bracket because we don't know where it is. Take note, we always write the smaller value on the left hand side and the greater value on the right hand side when we use interval notation. And there you are, an open circle by the negative 1 and then a continuous line to the left. All right, I have some uh, nice examples for you here. It is in your own interest to work through them consistently. Make sure you can distinguish when is it, when is it real numbers and when are we dealing with real numbers which are only integers or maybe only natural and so forth. Please be careful when you do these examples. Enjoy. Good luck. Uh, this is Ahmed Suleiman from uh, Mathematics with Ms. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.